Alright, Shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS North Carolina camp back for another video. Before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and rule well, and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Today's topic is going to be going in, uh, it's going to be titled, Serving Idols Will Not Profit You, you know? And that's talking to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the children of Israel. You can get um, Psalms 96, and 5, we'll start with that. Because um, what? an idol is a false god. An idol <coughs> doesn't profit our people. Why? Ultimately, Yahweh Shema Shai command that we serve, that we don't serve other idols. Is what serving those idols is going to get you jacked up by the Lord. Mm -hmm. And this is Psalms chapter ninety-six, verse five. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Yeah, all the gods of the nations are idols. You know, they're false gods. They're false deities. They're not alive. You know, they can't breathe. They they don't uh, stand up and walk around. They don't uh, give orders out for what for their will to be done. You know, they're idols. They're not real. They're made by man's hands. Yeah. Right? But the Lord made the he made the heavens. Yeah, but the Lord, but Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, made the heavens. You know, our Heavenly Father, through His only begotten Son, made the heavens and the earth. You know, what are these idols make? They don't make nothing. All they do is collect dust all day. You know, they mold, they rust. They don't get up and um and put people to death for breaking their commandments. They don't judge people. The Alba Shema Shai does. And that's what you people ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. Right. Okay. Well, read on to the next one. Oh, next one. Deuteronomy 4 and 8. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 28. And there ye shall serve gods. Mm -hmm. Talking about these uh, gods of these other nations, you know, these false idols. Go ahead. The work of men's hands. Yeah, so here it is. A man will labor, you know, uh, you know, to build a statue. Mm -hmm. You know, might put gold in it, might be brass, clay, you know, whatever it may be. You know, you put all this hard work into it, and then what? You turn around the next day when it's built and bow down and serve it as if it is your God, you know, as if, you know, as if it can provide prosperity for you or uh, get you out of situations, you know, uh, get you. Let's see if those guys will get you uh, out of your situation when all hell is breaking loose, you know? that That's an oxymoron, you know? You created those guys, so what? They have no power, you know? It's just like when a man creates a car, you know? Same thing with these gods. Okay. Work of men's hands, mm -hmm. wood and stone. Yeah, wood and stone. You know, you can anybody can you know take a bulldozer that I don't break it down. You know, but you can't break down Yah by Shema Shai. You can't. Your arms are. You can't do anything against Yah by Shema Shai. You know. Mm -hmm. Good. Which nev neither see. No, here. Yeah, those idols, so they can't see or hear. You know what? The scriptures say the eyes of the Lord power are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So our Heavenly Father, He can see. You know, He sees everything that's going on down here through His angels. You know, hear the Lord. The Lord said every idle word. You know, the Lord hears everything. You know, He He knows what you're thinking. The Heavenly Father is a true and living power. Nor eat. Nor eat. You know, these idols don't eat anything, you know. Here it is, you bring in these sacrifices, like you got Bell and the Dragon. You know, uh, you had uh, you had the king at the time uh, ask Daniel, how is he not an idol? Don't you see how much he eats and drinks? And Daniel smiled, you know, because it's hilarious, you know. Come to find out, if your brothers read the account of Bell and the Dragon, the whole thing, you know, the priests were still in, were, um, eating the food, you know. Bell didn't do anything. He's a statue. He's not real. He's not alive. Okay. Nor eat, nor smell. Yeah, they don't have they don't have the senses of man. You know, you're we, are, as humans on the earth, are more alive than those idols will ever be. You know, you get Exodus 18, 11. Here it is. You know, they're worshiping idols, false gods in Egypt, and what Yahweh Bashima Shai is doing, he's confounding those guys, just like. When he comes back and uh, to destroy America, you know, 
Let's see if the guys with these heathens trust in two thirds of these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Let's see if they can deliver you out of the hands of the Lord. They can. Mm -hmm. This is Exodus chapter 18, verse 11. Mm -hmm. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods. Yeah, now we know that the Lord is greater than all gods. The Lord is greater than all these false idols. You know? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. For in the thing wherein they dealt proudly, mm -hmm. he was above. He was above them. Yeah. So the Lord is above these false uh, pagan gods. You know, no matter how much people um, want to worship them, no matter how many times a day people pull out their carpet and bow down to them, Yahweh Shai is above them. You know, and he. He, he's the one that created the heavens and the earth and everything that dwells in there, you know? Here it is. Can you actually get that account? Uh, actually, I'll read it real quick. Yeah, read it real quick. Because, you know, we were reading it earlier in Bell and the Dragon. Oh. Just real quick. This is the book. This is the history of the destruction of Bell and the Dragon. And it says, this is uh, one. So I bro. Okay. This is one and five. I'm going to start at 4. And the king worshipped it and went daily to adore it. But Daniel worshipped his own power. And the king said unto him, Why does thou not why does not thou worship Baal? You know, an idol. Who answered and said, Because I may not worship idols made with hands. You know, as a Hebrew Israelite, we were to worship Yahweh by Shema Shai and Yahweh by Shema Shai only. But two thirds of our people, they're worshiping Esau, the so called white man, and these false pagan idols, Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria. You know, these are where our people are worshiping, but, you know, there's going to be a judgment for that. But the living power who created the heavens, the heaven and the earth, and have sovereignty over all flesh. Yeah, so the Lord has sovereignty over all flesh. The Lord is in control of everything, you know? If you don't want to, if you as a uh, Hebrew Israelite don't want to worship Yahweh Shemashah, the Lord is going to judge you for that. Here it is, the Lord is going to bring famine, martial law, you know, race riots, and ultimately 200 million ICBM, ICBM missiles, which will hit and destroy America. And our people uh, don't want to turn back and repent. All those that want to keep worshiping idols, let's see if Buddha can save you in that day. Let's see if you can hide under his statue and protect you from the heat of those missiles. You know, it's not going to happen. You got your precept? Uh, um, yeah, the oh, Joshua. Joshua. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at Joshua. <clears throat> this is Joshua chapter 24, verse 14. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, fear the Lord. Yeah, um, get um, get Psalms 96 again, but read uh, verse 4 instead of 5. Okay. It says, now therefore fear the Lord, you know? Fear Yahweh by Shema It didn't say fear Buddha, fear Allah. And after that, get Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Okay. And we're going to show our people why they need to fear the Lord. And verse 4? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is Psalms chapter 96, verse 4. For the Lord is great. And greatly to be praised. Yeah. Huh? He is to be feared above all gods. Yes, yeah, so our power, Yah by Shema Shai, is to be feared above all gods. You know, you're not supposed to fear breaking the commandments of Buddha or breaking the commandments of Allah. You're supposed to fear and serve the Lord, fear and trembling of breaking his law, statute, commandments. You know? All he says, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. He was uh, fear you out by Shema Shai because he has the power to, uh, to give you life or put you to death. You got Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. okay. this, is De this is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. Mm -hmm. See now that I, even I, am he, mm -hmm. and there is no power with me. Yeah, so. How about Shema Shai? He is. He's the only one sitting on his throne with his only begotten son right next to him on his right hand side. And he, Buddha's not up there. There's no power with him. Buddha's not up there. Allah. You don't see that big statue in Brazil teleporting himself next to the Lord and giving out orders on the earth. You know, that's that's not a thing. That's, that, that doesn't happen. Go ahead. I kill. 
and not make it live. Yeah, Yahweh Shema Shai is going to be killing the two thirds of our people that don't want to repent, you know? And he makes alive those who are, you know, Lord's will to be part of the elect, those who have repented to him and are going to repent, you know, in these coming days before all hell breaks loose on the shores of America, even uh, until uh, uh, the missiles begin to shot off. You know, you're going to have elect being still all the way into the end. What it says the Lord has the power to make you alive, you know, and that's what we're hoping for that Yahweh Shem Shai has mercy upon us. But two thirds are people that don't want to fear the Lord, the Lord is going to put you to death by way of famine, race riots, uh, teeth of wild beasts, you know, cannibalism. These are the uh, calamities that are going to come upon our people for worshiping false idols. Okay, I wound and I heal. Mm -hmm. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Yeah, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So all these false idols that our pe people worship, they can't deliver you out of the hands of the Lord. The Lord wants you to get put to death. The Lord wants, you know, a, a, a calamity to come up, fall upon you. It, it's going to happen. You know, no one can be able to deliver you out of the hands of the Lord. You go back to Joshua. All right, this is Joshua chapter 24, verse 14. Now, therefore... Fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. Yes, a service. Therefore, fear the Lord and come back and serve him in sincerity and in truth. You know, you got to be, be sincere when you come back and serve the Lord. You got to do it in truth. What's the truth? According to the Bible, not only so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have a chance of salvation. You know, and only first and foremost, and also that only the elect are going to be saved on this side, and that they are to worship Yahweh by Shema Shai and no one else. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. In order to receive that salvation, you know, they got to come back and worship the Lord and do what He wants us to do, and that's to follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities and have faith in Him and His name. Yeah. Go ahead. And put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood. Mm -hmm. And in Egypt. Yes, yeah, so stop worshiping these false pagan idols and turn back and repent unto the Lord. Go ahead. And serve ye the Lord. Yes, come back and have and come back and serve ye how by Shemel and Shai. Mm -hmm. Verse 15. Mm -hmm. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, Go ahead. choose you this day whom you will serve. Yeah, and that's the point. You, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Are you going to choose to serve the Lord that's going to. Is it it's going to have great profit. You know, scriptures talk about those who, uh, is, uh, the Lord's never forsaken those who call upon them. You know, who is the ever the spies that call upon them? You know, mm -hmm. the Lord wants you so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans to come back and seek Him in sincerity and truth. You know, so you got to choose this day. Are you going to keep worshiping idols, which is ultimately going to get you destroyed? Go ahead. Yep. Whether the gods which your father served, that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites mm -hmm. in whose land ye dwell. Yeah, so basically what? Only only the men uh, w men and women who Yahweh Shema Shai wanted to make it through the flood made it, you know? You didn't have someone on the other side believe in Allah who got delivered from the flood, you know? Same thing with this time. Only the only the only the men, women, and children of Yahweh Shema Shai wants to get delivered out of America by nuclear destruction. That's what that's that's, that's how it's gonna be, you know. Mm -hmm. And the only ones that are gonna deliver who have sincerely repented and uh, seeking Yahweh Shema Shai in these last days, seeking repentance and mercy from the Lord. Go ahead. But as for me and my house, yeah, for us and the brothers up here, go ahead. We will serve the Lord. Yeah, we're going to serve the Lord. We're serving the Lord now, and Lord's willing, if it be the Lord's will, we endure until the end, you know, and serve Him all the way into the kingdom and for all eternity. Any more than that? Get that Second Chronicles right mm -hmm. This is Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Mm -hmm. If my people, which are called by my name, yeah, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the children of Israel, go ahead. Shall humble themselves and pray. Yeah, shall humble themselves, you know, stop being so proud, you know, acting like you know everything because the most high resist the proud and pray, you know, come back and confess your sins unto the Lord. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And seek my face. And 
seek my face how you seek the what's the face of the lord the scriptures you know the holy bible you know yep when they call a uh, from the book the face you know the face of the book you know it's the whole it's these scriptures that's the that's the lord's face go ahead and turn from the wicked ways yeah repent you know you turn from that path of destruction you come get on this straight and narrow path the path of difficulty you know where only a few are going to make it you know and the lord's willing to be part of the elect that the lord uh see you fit to get saved out of america that's what we're hoping for go ahead and th then will i hear from heaven mm -hmm. and will forgive their sin uh -huh. and will heal their land yeah so then yeah by shimashia is going to have mercy on our people when they finally confess their faults you know confess where they are going off at and sincerely repent from serving those idols and come back and serve the Lord. You know, those idols aren't real. They're not gonna. Pro they they can't profit you. They they will not profit. You know, they have no profit in them. Mm -hmm. This is Jeremiah mm -hmm. chapter two, verse eleven. Half a half a nation changed their gods. Which are yet no gods? Yeah, do you see these heathen nations, you know, throwing away their idols and worshiping different idols? No, you know, mm -hmm. are coming, are trying to serve the Lord? No, you know, these nations, you know, they they continue to worship their gods. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. But my people have changed their glory for that which doeth not profit. Yeah, but you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans worship glory out by Shema Shai, You know, our glory is the Lord have changed that to which does not profit them well our people don't want to serve worship Yahweh they want to worship the, the gods of these other nations which are idols mm -hmm. you can just get jump 28 jump to me. Yeah. yeah this is Jeremiah chapter uh, 2 verse 28 but where are thy gods that thou hast made thee yeah where are the gods Where's, when all hell is breaking loose you know this is this is what the Lord is talking about. Where are those gods which you have made yourself? You know, where are the gods which you have chosen to serve in these last days rather than the Lord? You know, let's go ahead. Let them arise if they can. Yeah, let them stand up and deliver. You know, the Lord said He was gonna um, deliver the children of Israel, starting with the elect, those who trust and fear Him. You know, those that come back and serve Him in these last days. But let's see if those idols which you serve. And uh, deliver you if, if they can. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Let them arise if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities mm -hmm. are thy gods, O Judah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. get, um, just from, get Second Chronicles fifteen thirteen, and we'll get Amos five before we'll close out. Okay. Oh, Second Chronicles fifteen. Yeah, exactly. So, well, our people have a God for every day of the year. And, you know, let's see if all those gods which you have chosen to worship and serve, you know, the moon god, the sun god, you know, all these false pagan idols. Let's see if they can save you when your stomach is touching your back and you got your neighbor about to break into your house because he don't got enough food to feed his family either, you know? Right. This is uh, Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. That whosoever would... Yeah. Mm -hmm. like that whosoever is talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. That whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh of Israel. Yeah, the Lord power of Israel. How do you seek the Lord? Uh, you seek Yahweh by Shema Shai Hal. By, um, you know, first and foremost, the men that, that is out there on the highways mm -hmm. and byways, some of our apostles and elders teaching you the breakdowns of the Bible. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Should be put to death. Yeah, should be put to death. Meaning what? You're going to die. You know, Yahweh Shema Shah is going to judge you for worshiping these false idols. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Whether small or great. Yeah, whether you, you know, LeBron James, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Jay Z, are you a bum on the street, you know, begging for change? It don't matter. Yahweh Shema Shah is no respect to persons. Go ahead. Whether man or woman. Yeah, whether man or woman. You know, you want to search it. You want to, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of our women, they, they're big into uh, worshiping uh, um, Buddhism, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, 
Uh, why? Because they think it brings peace. You know, it's, it's going to bring you a sword, a sword destruction. That's what it's going to bring you. Okay. Oh. Amos. Five. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. This is Amos chapter five, verse four. For thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel. And once again, that's you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Go ahead. Seek ye me, and ye shall live. Yeah, but if you come back and repent from your wickedness and, you know, acknowledge your sins and put away those gods, you know, which you uh, were uh, were uh, indoctrinated to come up and serve here in America, you know, Christianity and all that uh, BS, all those false ideologies, you know, false ways of life. You know, and come back and serve the Lord, you're going to have a chance to live, you know. You know, you, the Yahweh Shema Shai is ultimately going to give you eternal life on the first go around in the kingdom of heaven. You know, Lord's willing, you're part of the elect, you know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that Lord's willing, your brothers will edify, you know. Stop, you know, our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American need, need to come back and repent and come back and serve the Lord. But, you know, with that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekar Kodash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of great millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and rule well. And peace and blessings so full like of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom. Shalom.